Hey folks, Brody Dorland here, and today I'd like to quickly walk through the process of adding a new content item into Divi HQ. The process itself is very simple, it's basically just a form, but how you fill it out will vary depending on how much information you have on the item or project when you're adding it. So the first thing I'd like to point out is that you have two options for adding a new content item. Option one is to click this orange plus icon in the header, and then you can select content item from the drop down to trigger the add new content item form. Now since this plus icon is part of the main header, it's always going to be there, so you can always add a new content item anytime, no matter where you are throughout the application. Okay, your second option for adding a new content item is directly from the calendar interface itself. So let's say that I'm working on filling up our blog calendar for September. I have a blog post in mind, and I know the date that we want to publish it. So all I have to do is hover over the top left corner of a specific day and click the plus content link. This triggers the add new content item overlay and automatically fills in the deadline date, which will save you a few clicks. Okay, now I need to fill in the details. I'll just pop in a super creative title. You can add a summary or description if you want. Then I select the calendar that this content item will live on. Note here that once I select a calendar, the rest of the fields in this form are dynamically updated based on that calendar's settings. So the content types field only shows applicable content types. The owner field only displays team members that have access to that calendar. The campaigns field only includes applicable upcoming campaigns. And finally, we can expand the content strategy fields area to fill in any additional metadata that may be important to capture. If you have any of your content strategy fields that are required, this makes it easy to remember to fill in those fields right away. Okay, with all of this data filled in for this content project, we need to make one final decision with the three buttons at the bottom. As you know, Divi has a parking lot to store content ideas. So if I was just needing to get an idea added to our parking lot, then I'd just click park it. But in this case, we're actually adding a real project. So I can either click save, which will just save this item and I can go on about my day, or I can click add detail, which will open the full detail view of this blog post project and I can start working on it. In order to keep this video short and sweet, I'm just gonna hit save for now. Our new blog post is scheduled along with any tasks that are part of our blog workflow. That's it. Thanks so much for watching this video, and if it was helpful, we'd very much appreciate a like or a thumbs up. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again, and happy divvying!